All right, another neat strategy, the small group close. Now, a close or a maze are activities that are used to develop the semantic cueing system. Remember, there's three that the brain uses to create meaning with print, semantics, meaning context clues, syntax, grammar, or word order, and then phonics. Here's an example of close activities. Sally clapped her after the show. So we do these students learn to use context clues or the semantic cueing system. You get the idea. A small group close is used to develop semantic but also syntactic and comprehension because students hear the thought processes of other students. Now let me tell you or explain more. You select a paragraph or a short passage instead of individual sentences. They should be at the independent level. Now you strategically delete words from the sentences. Since this is not used for assessment, you don't have to follow a formula. You could decide nouns, verbs, adjectives, function words. You decide. Uh, play with that. Now in this small group close, the target close, you should be, you should uh, have the complete word missing. No letter clues at all. Sally clapped her blank after the show. All right, so there's no letter clues at all. And it would look something like that, a passage or a paragraph. Students are put in pairs and small groups and they're told, you are detectives. You need to look for words or find a word that makes sense in the close. They're to look before the word, after the word, or in other parts of the paragraph. And again, it's the conversation that takes place because they're able to hear the thought processes of others. Students then either write or dictate the words that go in the close blank. And again, it's the conversation that takes place, not necessarily that they get it right or wrong. And by the way, if it makes sense, it is right. They get to hear the thoughts of others, but they have to explain and clarify their thinking. After they're done, students read their paragraphs out loud. And again, does this make sense? If you have two or three groups or pairs, it's always fun to compare theirs to others. And sometimes I like to show the completed paragraph or passage that it was created out of. This can also be used as a post-reading activity. You read, then you create a close based on what they had just read. That enables them to use both clues in the pas passage, but background knowledge as well. Small group close, another neat activity, simple and effective.